If you're like me, and God help you if you are, you probably saw this part of the Shadow of the Earth Tree trailer and said to yourself, oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna karate kick some people in this thing. This new martial arts inspired weapon is called Dry Leaf Arts, and thankfully it's not too hard to find. As you come out to the Shadow Altus and approach the High Road Cross Site of Grace, close to the Horn Scent and Nicholas Cross, you'll find the Monk's Missive and the May the Best Win gesture. The Missive will tell you to seek a Monk to the East and challenge them to a bout without the need for words. So now we need to head to the Morth Runes, which is located here on the map. By Nicholas Cross, you'll find a very quiet NPC. This is Dryleaf Dane, and all you have to do to challenge him to a duel is make the May the Best win gesture at him. This will start a boss fight with Dryleaf Dane, who is really fast, but not particularly difficult. If you have a weapon that can stagger enemies normally, you should have a pretty easy time taking him down. Watch out for all of his martial arts moves, and that should be the match. Once he's defeated, you weirdly don't seem to get any runes, but where Dane was once standing will now be his hat and the Dry Leaf Arts weapon. This is a hand-to-hand -hand combat art that lets you perform long combos of punches and kicks. In terms of the moveset, your R1 or Light Attack unleashes a fast barrage of punches and kicks. The R2, or Heavy Attack, is likely what you'll be using with this weapon, as the Punch-Kick-Punch combo is pretty effective at damaging and poise-breaking enemies. The Running Heavy and Jump Attacks are also a blast to do, as you just hit enemies with a bunch of Leaping Dive Kicks. The weapon art, Palm Thrust, can knock down enemies, does pretty good damage, and can be charged to inflict even more damage. Now I gotta be honest, I wasn't initially that impressed with Dryleaf Arts, as I was running a Strength Faith build, and it didn't play too well to that. However, the light combo was pretty fast, and I thought to myself, that could make it a good candidate for a bleed weapon. So I respect, I put a ton of points into Dexterity and Arcane, and as a bleed weapon, it actually does do pretty good damage. Dryleaf Arts is pretty versatile, so you could probably turn this into a lightning weapon or a frost weapon, and it could fit all kinds of different builds. One other thing to note about this weapon is that there's an Ash of War that suits it even better than its initial palm thrust. To get it, you first need to get past the Golden Hippopotamus at the Shadow Keep. Boy howdy do I hate this thing. Then after you beat that and you start making your way through the Shadow Keep, you'll eventually make it to an area called the Specimen Storehouse. If you head left from the Site of Grace there, you'll find a lift that will take you down. You know you'll be about in the right area if you end up running into a ton of jars and those weird jar innard enemies that are just lovely to look at. Get past this large jar room and you'll make it to the West Rampart Site of Grace. Fight or run past all the bats en route to a fire mage that will make fire rain down from the sky. Past the mage, you'll find a lift that will take you to the ancient ruins of Ren. From here, it's a bit complicated to explain where to go, so I'm mostly just gonna let the footage play out. There will be a section where there are two torches that you need to take a ride at, and I would recommend riding Torrent through all of this, as that will help it move along. Get past all of the Shadow people. And you'll know you're in the right spot if you run into some of those scorpions.
Now, past the scorpions, you'll find some doors that you can open. And then you'll find a square hole with a spirit spring that you can take down. Head past some flymen. And you should see an angry looking guy with a giant hammer, but ignore him for now. And right over here, by a small waterfall, will be the Dry Leaf Whirlwind Ash of War. In my opinion, this is the move that really ties the Dry Leaf Arts weapon together. It's a multiple kick combo that usually stun locks most enemies and does a ton of damage. I was having issues fighting those Fire Mage enemies in the Shadow Keep before, but with this move, I was rocking them without much trouble. So yeah, that's the Dry Leaf Arts weapon. Give it a shot. Tell me what you think about it in the comments below. And for more Elden Ring, Shadow of the Earth Tree news and guides, make sure that you're always checking out thegamer.com. I'm Jamie Latour, and now wish me luck, because I'm going to go attempt to actually kick Mesmer's butt.